as we enter spring and things start to melt, all the snow that we've received in this historic winter has to go somewhere. And for cities on the banks of our river rivers, they are on alert and they are bracing for potential flooding. Tonight in Stillwater, city officials there getting residents and businesses ready. Our Maury Glover joining us live from Stillwater as that city now prepares for the worst case scenario. Maury? Well, a couple dozen people showed up for an informational meeting tonight as the city prepares for possibly the worst flooding here in more than 20 years. It got high last year. If it gets any higher, it will get to our patio. At the dock in Stillwater, the view of the St. Croix River is one of the main attractions. But this spring, the scenic waterway could come a little too close for comfort. We're just kind of forecasting it ourselves and like praying, <laughs> but also preparing for the worst, I guess, just to, you know, it, it doesn't look good. City officials say the National Weather Service is predicting a 70% chance the river will crest past flood stage. They worry all the snow this winter and a slow thaw are increasing the chances of the worst flooding here since 2001. The snowpack in the area is really high for this time of year and also the water content in the snow is very high for this time of year as well. So that's uh, raised their levels of concern and, and uh, that's why they're predicting the high water. City officials held an informational meeting to tell residents and business owners about their efforts to fight the flood. The city will close all riverfront parking lots, install concrete barriers, and use volunteers to fill sandbags to build a temporary levee from one end of town to the other. It's not my first rodeo. I've been here for like five major floods. And uh, so we, I think we got it pretty well planned out. City officials say most downtown businesses will stay open, but the Stillwater Lift Bridge will also close to pedestrians for a while. Employees at the dock hope all those efforts will keep the water at bay and prevent them from having to close as well. I really have a lot of faith in our community to, to help with all this. Now those efforts will start on Wednesday, but they could change as the National Weather Service is expected to release a new flood forecast on Thursday. Reporting live in Stillwater, Maureen Glover, Fox 9. All right, thanks, Maury. Well